ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு செஸ் வைசர் யுவர் வைஸ் சாய்ஸ் டு இம்ப்ரூவ் யர் செஸ் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ ஆஃப் த டாப் டென் அக்ரெசிவ் செஸ் ஓப்பனிங்ஸ் ஐ மென்ஷன் தட் ஐ வில் பி கவரிங் த ட்ரிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்ராப்ஸ் இன் ஈச் ஓப்பனிங் ஸோ இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஷோ யூ த செவன் ஜெர்லி ட்ரிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்ராப்ஸ் இன் ஸ்மித் மோரா கேம்பிட் ப்ளீஸ் நோட் தீஸ் ட்ராப்ஸ் கேன் பி பிளேட் ஒன்லி அகேன்ஸ்ட் த லோ ரேட்டட் பிளேயர்ஸ் டு த இன்டர்மீடியேட்ஸ் ஸோ ட்ரை தீஸ் ஐடியாஸ் இன் யுவர் கேம்ஸ் வித் காஷன் So please watch this video till the end because I have included a beautiful smother checkmate in this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, let us start with the first one. So white starts the game with e4. Black plays the Sicilian defense, c5. Uh, white is going to play d4. So c takes d4. And here white should not capture the pawn with the queen. Uh, then uh, you should play c3 uh, offering another pawn so black will capture that pawn and we are going to recapture with our knight so we have achieved the thematic position uh, this is the starting position of the smith mora gambit from here onwards uh, black has many responses uh, let's check the natural moves from black side and we'll try to set up some traps against each one so in the first trap uh, black plays the natural sicilian move knight c6 white should continue with knight f3 and then pawn to e5 black plays pawn to e5 which gives up the d5 square uh, permanently uh, which you should not do in the sicilian opening now we can put the bishop on c4 increasing the d5 control and we have uh, multiple controls on the d5 square now and not only that this bishop eyes the juicy f7 square which is the weakest spot in the black camp uh, after this move uh, black uh, black has a uh, few uh, good responses like a knight f6 or a bishop to b4 d6 bishop to c5 or even pawn to b5 but if black plays bishop to e7 then he is already uh, lost the game uh, let's check uh, why we can simply win the game by playing queen to d5 forming this strong battery against the weak f7 and threatening the checkmate if black tries to defend the uh, defend the mate uh, with the knight h6 we can simply take that knight if black takes back uh, uh, i mean uh, if black recaptures that uh, piece then we can simply deliver this mate on f7 okay if black knows this definitely he is not going to fall for this then uh, after queen to d5 he may try pawn to d6 from here we can play our uh, queen f7 check anyway uh, after that a uh, king is going to uh, walk around so after that king d7 bishop to e6 check uh, forcing the king uh, to the other side of the board with uh, after king c7 knight d5 check so after uh, after the final king move uh, we can take the uh, bishop on c8 Uh, after that the queen takes bishop uh, we can simply take the g7 pawn if black plays bishop f6 here then knight takes the bishop and here white is completely winning in our second trap uh, black will continue the game with the d6 you can play bishop to c4 eyeing that uh, weak f7 uh, bishop to c4 move is the most important move in smith mora gambit so Uh, don't forget to play in the right move order here if black continues with knight f6 uh, definitely you can trick black with this idea pawn to e5 if black takes the pawn then he is gone because you can simply decoy your bishop on f7 after king takes f7 you can simply take the queen and win the game let's say black did not fall for this instead of capturing that pawn black could Uh, black could try knight to g4 but you can push the pawn uh, further to e6 cutting the knight's defense if bishop takes then we can simply take back with our bishop and then win the knight here there is another variation in this trap let's go back to our initial position here if black plays knight c6 uh, we can play our signature move bishop to c4 if d6 now we can play knight f3 here many black players are uh, tempted to play this bishop to g4 idea because it is simply pinning that knight 
but that's a mistake it is very common mistake in sicilian defense it is not only in the smith mora gambit for that matter as you all know that hanging pieces invites the tactics so we can sacrifice our bishop on f7 after king takes f7 knight to g5 check unleashing the discovery on the bishop by the queen if black attacks the queen after this uh, thing uh, i mean after queen recaptures if black attacks the queen with a knight f6 we can simply play queen to e6 based on black black's response we can play either queen f7 check or even the knight f7 move before we continue our remaining traps if you are new here please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon for the instant notifications for the future videos and if you are interested in learning the chess tricks and traps please check the i button above and the description for the previous videos from the channel in our next trap after uh, knight takes c3 black is going to play knight c6 we are going to play bishop to c4 our signature move for the smith mora gambit and black plays d6 white is going to develop his knight on f3 and here if black thinks that uh, playing knight f6 will be a good choice here then we can simply push our pawn forward to e5 if black takes with the knight white can take the knight and uh, transpose into a trap which we saw earlier so after pawn takes knight we can dig our bishop on f7 forcing the king to f7 and we are going to win the queen and the game so uh, black here when uh, black may uh, try different idea when we push our pawn to e5 that is uh, to play knight to g4 so we can capture on d6 simply after uh, black re recaptures on d6 white can castle and uh, he can look forward for a good game and please note there is this uh, weakness on d6 and d5 uh, because of uh, d6 uh, uh, d5 is a hole in the camp so already i think uh, white has very good compensation for the pawn and white almost going to complete his development in next few moves on the other hand black needs to figure out the same carefully another variation to consider after e5 black can capture the pawn with the pawn then white should exchange the queens so queen takes queen if king takes the queen we can go knight g5 but if knight takes the queen there is our another trap we can go knight b5 to land on c7 if black defends with knight e6 idea we can simply take that knight and after bishop recaptures we can simply fork the king and the rook and white is clearly better with an exchange up another move to check after knight b5 if black plays king d7 it is even better for uh, white now because it is simple made into after knight e5 check king has to go back to the home square and then we can deliver this amazing semi smothered checkmate let's check the last trap and here after knight takes c3 if black plays another solid move with e6 uh, idea is to shut down the light square diagonals uh, attack but still we are going to play the same move uh, bishop to c4 one of the main ideas for black here to bring the king knight to g6 but it should be done in a right move order uh, anyway if black plays this move earlier uh, like this uh, we can play bishop to g5 trying to create some uh, weakness all, uh, on the king side and also we are uh, going to delay his development on the king side so black should unpin or kick the bishop so if black plays h6 we can play knight b5 and eyeing the new weakness in black's camp uh, uh, which he created after knight e7 move if black is greedy and takes the bishop and we are going to deliver this beautiful smothered checkmate thanks very much for watching the video till the end this is chess wiser your wise choice to improve at chess don't forget to like this video and please show your support by subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon for the instant notifications if you are interested in trying some tricks and traps like this you can check my suggestion which is on your screen right now.